Okay, I think I'm ready. Since coming home from Antarctica, I've been asked one question more than any. What would be next? Tell me what you're going to do next, because I know there is something. And considering this month, I've been announced as the Adventurer of the Month in the National Geographic Traveller. I thought when better to announce my next project than right here, right now. This summer, over the months of June and July, I will attempt to swim the seven seas. That's right, a marathon swim through each of the classical seven seas. That includes the Red, Arabian, Aegean, Adriatic, Black, Mediterranean and North Seas. For the first time ever, there are two records attached to my project as I aim to become the youngest person to ever swim the classical seven seas and the first person in history to complete a marathon run on all seven continents and a marathon swim in each of the seven seas. This will be no easy feat. My running project, which finished in December, took 14 months, but this is gonna be done in just two. And alongside dealing with those short recovery times between each swim, I'll also have to deal with the challenging conditions of each sea from the heat and humidity of the Red Sea in summer to the strong currents of the North Sea. But I will be ready. I've been training since early January and I'm so excited to embark on this next adventure, whilst of course continuing the promise I made to my grandfather and to Alzheimer's Research UK to support the fight against dementia until the day we find a cure. Thank you to my incredible sponsors, Thomas Franks and The Body Lab, to my team and to everyone who supported over the last five years. I will not let you down. This is swimming in the seven seas.